Good morrow, honey bunny. How are ya? How are you guys doing? Is everything going well? What's the weather like where you're at? I'm very interested. It's overcast and super rainy. I am convinced Nala is never gonna get to practice with her team for softball. And you know what the kicker is? Is that the other team, so our city has two teams because they had so much interest or whatever. So they have two teams and then you have everyone else that you play in your division. The other team practices on the opposite days and literally it has been beautiful on all of those days. And then every single time Nala's team has a practice, it has been thundering and raining and it keeps getting canceled. And um, I was like, Nala, it's not just that your team doesn't get to practice, it's that the other team gets to practice. <laughs> like, you know, not that they're against each other just because they're from the same city, but she has friends and stuff on the other team so she knows that they're practicing. And I'm like, it, you know, that's just how the cookie crumbles sometimes, so. Fingers crossed she'll get to go to practice today. I am importing footage and doing my little work thing. I'm actually going to go and try on a bunch of stuff that I got upstairs from Walmart. They're actually sponsoring this video. <laughs> we love to see it, I'm not gonna lie, because, well, for one especially, I see everybody trying stuff on from Walmart online and I'm just like, you got that at Walmart? <laughs> I swear, every time I see it, there's one creator in particular I'm thinking of. Every time she shows her outfit and she's like, yeah, this is from Walmart and da da da. And I'm like, you, you did? Like, let me go, let me go online. <laughs> let me go check this out. So I found a bunch of really cute stuff. It's like a bunch of summery, springy stuff. I don't know what I'm talking about it for, girl. Let's just go upstairs and I'll show you. It's like the good old days. Back on this camera, there are people outside doing the freaking weeds and grass. And it's just so nostalgic, so nostalgic. Anywho. I thought I'd start us in a pajama set. This one I really, really like. I believe I got this in a 2X and it fits perfectly. It's got like really cute little lacy detail. It, I'm not exactly sure what this is. Oh, it's a butterfly. I kept trying to figure it out <laughs> while I was looking at it online. I ordered all my stuff online. Since I got it all online, I can link everything for you guys down in the description box. This little set, it is a set. So I thought it was cute because like the, the shorts have a little lacy detail and it's a stretchy lace. The shorts themselves are also stretchy. They're kind of like, you know, a little booty short. But I like how it feels. I thought it was cute. I wear a lot of these sets in the summertime. Just to kind of, you know, still be a little cutie pie honey bunch. But girl, I run hot. Are you, are you, are you a hot girl when you're sleeping? Because I'm a sweaty Betty when I'm asleep. And, and the other, the other person that's, you know, I, I share a bed with, well, he's the exact opposite. We have our challenges when it comes to temperature control in this house. Like I said, this one, absolute perfect fit. Very cute, love it, think it's wow, perfect, everything I could want. Well, let me show you the other one. I should mention the last one was a Sofia Vergara brand and I love her stuff. If you just wanna go to walmart.com and type in, you know, Sofia, you're gonna see the cutest stuff. Like it never fails that I'm looking, looking, I find something I like and that's the name underneath it and I'm like, oh. Makes sense. Yeah, this that I thought was really cute too, and I just got it one size too big. <laughs> so I need to size down on this one because the shorts are like a little too loosey-goosey, but overall I thought it was a cute little look, and the shorts have pockets, which is very convenient. The last ones did not have pockets. These ones are also slightly longer, so I'd be a little bit more comfortable actually walking around the house in this, like if I'm running downstairs before I get ready for the day. I'm someone who wakes up and gets ready for the day and then goes downstairs, but on the off chance that doesn't happen, like on church days, it almost never happens. <laughs> um, then I like to have clothes that actually look like clothes, not like bedroom apparel, basically. So this I thought was cute. It's just a little bit too big for me. So I got the 2X, which I shouldn't have. I don't know why I did. This is the Joy Spun brand. Let me show you actual clothes now. I mean, these are actual clothes. I just mean like actual outfits. I don't know how I feel about yellow on me. I, I don't. I like this bodysuit. It's a good length. You know, because sometimes when they're too short, you can't sit down or everything pops. It's a good length, for me at least. I'm 5'4", right? And I don't have like the world's longest torso. Yellow, I was like, oh, I'm gonna try yellow because it has these cute little flowers on it. They're like really dainty and cute and kind of vintagey looking. Sounds like my cat. Yes, girl, it's try on haul time. You're supposed to be in here. How are you gonna try your outfits on? How am I gonna know if they fit your big stinky butt? It's cute. I just, I feel like I wouldn't wear it with these shorts because these are a little bit high on me. But the rise, on, or not the rise, rather, the inseam is perfect. Like, this is a nice, solid, I mean, it's gotta be at least four inches. Actually four inches, maybe five, I don't know. But I, I, I really struggle to find shorts like this where it's actually gonna cover some of my thigh, but it's not so long that you're gonna consider it like a Bermuda. 
that's what I'm looking for these days. And if you really wanted to, you could cuff them up a bit and make them a little bit shorter, like on a beachy day, I usually have, not that we have many of those, but when we do, I usually have shorter shorts. And I don't know if it's just because I'm like on a beach and I think, mm, sun's out, bun's out, or I don't know what it is, but there's some kind of correlation there for me where my shorts are normally shorter those days. However, on a regular, regular day, I'm just going to the store and getting some groceries. Like, I like a nice little inseam, and it, it can be pretty hard to find. But these shorts feel really good. They're nice and stretchy. They're not overly stretchy. They definitely have a little bit of structure to them, but they have enough that you don't feel like you're pulling on vintage. Like, vintage just had no stretch. They were really hurting our feelings in the early 2000s and the 90s. Like, <laughs> it's a hard time for anybody with thighs. It was a really hard time. Taryn Sky. Oh yeah, heck yeah. I all, and these are plus. So these are a plus size 16 and they do have plenty of plus options, but I do like this brand. I know last year I picked up some stuff from this brand as well and worked out great. Oh, I wish I would have got the jacket one size smaller because it's definitely like an oversized fit. Well, I should say the shacket one size smaller. I have the matching shorts underneath. What do I think? I actually think that a monochromatic look would look really cool with this. Like if I switch this out for like a little pink top, a little pink tank top or like bralette. Oh, I have a pink bralette and it's lacy. So it would add like a little bit of a different texture. That would actually be really cute. But that with then like probably a pink-ish shoe, something to coordinate with it. That could be real cute stuff. It does have some give to it. So if you're worried about like, you know, making your arms fit, it's definitely oversized, has a little give, a little breathing room so you can still move and do your activities in it. And the same goes for the shorts. Again, we have a good inseam here. Like I have at least like four inches down here. That's crucial. And these are an ultra high rise, so they do go up pretty far. I mean, not the highest thing I've ever put on, but definitely go up pretty far. And we have, you know, functional pockets and stuff, all the important. All the important things, all the necessities. <sighs> Just over here living out my Sarah from the Block dreams. Um, hi, denim jumpsuit. You know what I really like about it is that it has short sleeves. I am not afraid to do head to toe denim, a little Canadian tuxedo, if you will, but you know, make it a jumpsuit, whatever. Not afraid of her, never have been, have loved some previous head to toe denim in the past. So I had to get it when I saw it on the website because I was like, mm. It could go either which way. You really never know until you get it on your body. And this, I feel like, has good bones. Like, <laughs> the denim is stretchy, but it's not so over the top that it's, like, hard to get on. It's stretchy enough for it to be comfortable for you to actually wear, but it's not so stretchy that it feels like you're struggling to, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, sometimes stuff fits you like a glove. This does not fit me like, I mean, like a glove, like a winter glove, not like a latex glove. You know what I'm saying? There's a distinction there. You know there is. I will say that I think for me, the ankles are a little bit loose. Um, so I don't know what shoe I would like pair with this. What's she wearing? Oh yeah, okay, see? She just has like some basic tennis shoes and she cuffed the bottom. That's smart. She cuffed the bottom. That is smart. Maybe I'll try that with like some white tennis shoe. Yes, with some white tennis shoes and like a little bag. That'd be really cute. Oh, a little backpack. That'd be a cute look. The shoes are actually so cute. I'll insert the close up for you guys, but the flower is adjustable. The petals are so pretty. I don't know if I would leave it right where it's at on the side or if I would move it up, but it's, it's so pretty. And then obviously you could wrap further up your calf or you could keep it around your ankle. I kind of like that like loose, almost like a sloppy kind of like wrapping <laughs> around your ankle. I think that's really pretty. The heel's not very tall, so not super hard to walk in. They're not gonna be the most comfortable shoe in the world. I mean, not by my standards, <laughs> just because it's a heel and your foot's being held in with straps. I mean, it's really, really cute. Definitely not like impossible or anything to wear around, especially if you're used to wearing heels. I will say I realized recently, I haven't worn heels in so long. Like it used to be something I would do slightly more often and then all of a sudden I would just like I started finding a way to not wear them and now I'm like girl if you don't use it you lose it like if I don't remember and continue to wear them I'm pretty sure I'm gonna lose the ability to do so I literally love them oh and of course the dress so this dress I thought was really cute when I saw it on the website and I like that it has little buttons and so you can kind of decide like do I want to take it all the way up Am I going somewhere where, you know, I need to be fully covered? Or should I open it up a little bit? I think this is really cute. It has a little tie around the waist, so it definitely brings your waist in a little bit. You can keep it in the front. I had it in the center. I didn't love it in the center. Put it in the side. Thought that was a little bit better. 
But then I thought you could also put it all the way in the back. <laughs> then it would just be, you know, just a little tie, but you would see the bow in the back. Um, we do have pockets, and you can kind of see the lining of the pockets, which is because the actual dress itself, which is really pretty, it has this little, I think it's called an eyelet design. Because I'm so out of practice with hauls now, like, should I bring them back? I miss them. I miss them. But do you miss them? <laughs> That's the question. Um, anyway, this little eyelet design, I thought this was really pretty. It's a nice little simple touch on the bottom of the dress. And I like that the buttons go all the way down and it kind of fans out, you know? So you have this really pretty airy kind of, you could wear this wherever. You could wear this to church. You could wear this to a picnic. You could wear this shopping, whatever. You could wear this wherever. Um, the only thing is, the only thing is she's a little, she's a little light, okay? So you either need to wear it with a slip or you need to wear it with, um, like if you're gonna do some kind of bodysuit or something like that underneath something kind of in a nude shade you know like nude to you and your body <laughs> so that you can't quite tell that there's anything underneath this would be a cute little beach cover-up like if you were going on vacation or something you're doing like resort style stuff where you know you want to look a little bit elevated at the buffet or, or you know like at at the restaurant or at the bar or whatever but then like you want to be ready for the pool or the hot tub or whatever it is like underneath or just sunbathing right like this would be a really cute little thing to have over a little bikini then if you see it peeking through it's not really a big deal because it's a swimsuit and in our brains swimsuit okay panties bad you know what i mean like as far as showing them to strangers unless you're someone on the internet in which case <laughs> both are okay the dress is not stretchy though so just just want to mention that. Take a peek at the size chart. This one I believe I got in a 2X. If I'm wrong, I will put it on screen. First of all, shout out you guys. Because when I, you know I'm in my Pilates era right now, okay? When I asked you guys where you were getting your little jackets, a bunch of you were like, oh, I get mine from Walmart. They're, you know, way more affordable because I was telling y'all I was not about to go get that one for a hundred, I don't know how many dollars. I just cannot, I cannot. Like, I cannot bring myself to, no ma'am. Y'all look beautiful, but it's not for me. So. I was like, where are you getting them? You're like, oh yeah, check Walmart. Walmart has so many of them, they're so cute. Some of you guys gave me like the exact ones that you wear, so I'll be checking out more because I did get one. And as I said, Miss Sophia is doing her thing. So so these are Sophia Active by Sophia Vergara. So all three pieces, right? She's doing her thing. She has a bunch of coordinating stuff, like a bunch of coordinating sets and stuff like that. Some of the ones I wanted were out of stock in my size. So these are all XXL. And uh, I'm just gonna have to check back and like see if they restock them or maybe she releases like new stuff. I'm not sure. I like it, okay? So we have the, like, what are these? Like a cheetah print? Uh, look, I, I go in there and it's a fashion show. It's a fashion show. Okay, not for everybody. Some people are just there to do their Pilates and get out of there. But some of these ladies, I see you. I see you. I see you. And I know you see me because we're making comments back and forth. So listen, it's a good time. Anyway, back to the show. These are a high-rise leggings, so they have a big old panel in the front, and not a whole lot else to say about them. They are gonna fit like your typical kind of active legging. And then we have the sports bra. It has a little bit of a padding inside of it. I like that it's kind of a longer line. I don't know about you, but like when I get the smaller, smaller ones, they have a tendency to kind of dig a little bit. I don't know if it's just the ones I've been wearing or, I don't know, but I like a little bit of a longer line, but not too long because when it gets too long, then while I'm actually working out or I'm doing my stretches and da da da, I find myself adjusting, adjusting, adjusting. It's got a nice thick strap, so if you got, you know, a lot to support, it can help you out with that. And then the cute little jacket, of course. I'm obsessed with jackets like this. I have an entire drawer now dedicated to them. I don't have that many. I'm trying not to actually, it's a small drawer. <laughs> I'm trying not to purchased the exact same colors constantly and so when I saw this one I was like all aboard because I don't have anything that looks like that right now so we have some pockets in the front and then we have our little thumb holes if you're a thumb hole girl I was just going through this with my daughter the other day I was like I'm not a thumb hole girl I'm always pushing them back she's like I am I'm like don't they get dirty and she's like no if you're gonna do something dirty take it off your hand and I'm like got a point there okay anyway love this all right let me show you a swimsuit of course I have a bunch of really cute little bikinis and they're so cute, right? But I mostly just wear those at home in the hot tub and stuff. It's not what I normally like go out with, you know, the kids, the pool, yada, yada. I don't normally wear that stuff there. That being said, I knew I needed some one pieces that I could feel like comfortable in, but I don't know. Some of the ones that I had were just kind of feeling a little funny. So 
I saw this one once again by our girl Sophia and I was like let me let me try that bad boy out so I like the print it's like brown and like tan I thought that would look cute especially once I actually get a little bit of a tan you know she doesn't get much darker than this area <laughs> but I kind of feel like I'm not top heavy enough for this now this does have underwire so if you need some support this is this is like a solid swimsuit. I mean, and there is plenty of space in here. I guess that's what's getting me is that it's kind of puckering a little bit, but I feel like because of the stripes, you almost can't see that it's doing that or can you? Maybe it could size down one, I guess. I don't know. I don't know if that would work. It might. It is a full butt coverage, which I actually really like. And then we have a closure in the back, but I bought this cover up as well because I thought this would go cute with it. Oh no, I don't know if these will go together. Okay, in hindsight, no, it doesn't really go with this swimsuit because the straps are so thick, but the little cover up, the dress itself, like this is actually extremely cute. I love the length of it because it's just, just, just past the knee. And then you have the slit on the side, so it's still keeping it very like fun and flirty. It is stretchy, so it's gonna like form to your body, you know, so whatever you put this on top of, it's gonna it's gonna pretty much look like that. All right, so that was the end of my haul. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I will have links for everything down below. Thanks again to Walmart for sponsoring it. And now, back to the vlog. Morning, pumpkin. Let's make some chocolate chip cookies. We're gonna whip these up real quick because today the kids have, what do they have? We have a, quite a busy day today, but they are having a party for, I actually need my scale because I made this butter, so I don't know how much is in it. So that's the last 16 that the kids were on. They are having like an end of season party and this morning they were like, where's the cookies? And then I was like, what do you mean where the cookies? Girl, I went to bed last night. Actually, I watched the Cubs game, most of it. <laughs> and then I went to bed. But yeah, no. So they were like, mom, you're not gonna make any? Can you make some please, baby? And I was like, I guess, I guess I can make some. So I'm gonna whip these up real quick because I do have a Pilates class this morning. The kids have dentist appointments and then they have that party so they need to get taken back to school and they have to make it back before the end of the day so we're going to be cutting it really close they're probably literally going to go back to school with like five ten minutes of the day left which you're probably saying why even go back to school because they're having that party but they're not allowed to go to the party if they were checked out of school so i have to check them back in I didn't know this was happening today, otherwise I wouldn't have planned the appointments like this, but I don't know if it's like this for y'all, and I feel like it probably is, but it is really hard to get appointments for, um, you know, the dentist, the doctor especially, man, doctor's appointments are so far out in advance, like, I can't begin to know what I'm going to be doing that day, but... I know I'm not gonna be canceling this appointment. I know that much. Speaking of, I need to make an appointment with my gynecologist because I did cancel the last one like an idiot. And that one took me like six months. I waited for it for like six months and then I decided to go on a bike ride instead. Like I don't regret the bike ride, but <laughs> I probably need to get in with them. So that was the equivalent of one and a half sticks of butter. And then you're gonna add your sugar, which is three quarters of a cup of each, white and brown. Normally I have cute containers and stuff, but. I'm just not in the mood to be cute today. I'm sure you can tell. Yeah, and then uh, the fun continues because I pick them up, bring them back, and drop Jay off, and then Nala has a scrimmage tonight. So that'll take us to about 7th. Oh my gosh, I put too much sugar. Whatever. It's fine. Don't worry about it. No one has ever complained. It was supposed to be three quarters of a cup, but I just did a cup. I normally get my mixer out, but I'm just not in the mood. So our little cordless mixer and our bowl will do today. You're just gonna cream them together. I was supposed to beat the butter first, but I'm not going to because it's not super softened. So I'm just gonna try to see if the sugar will help kind of soften it up a little bit. But normally you, you beat your butter first a little bit. Not in most recipes, but in this recipe. I was asking people what they use when they like bake and stuff. Like, do you have a stand mixer? Do you have a hand mixer? Are you using a whisk? And somebody was like, I don't even have a whisk and I was like okay well I don't okay you got a big fork <laughs> like let's invest in a whisk next time we're you know at the thrift store or something I cannot imagine it's uh, but a dollar but it, it definitely is very helpful because like you think you can do what a whisk does which I do this all the time but I cannot do what a whisk does I need the whisk to do what a whisk does. <laughs> I mean, if you're baking and stuff. If you're not, then you don't need one. I'm gonna add my eggs. I'm just gonna add them both. I'm not in the mood to be a little cutie pie. Baking is precise, but 
at some stages, you can do what you want and you'll, you'll be fine. You're not gonna ruin anything if you add both eggs up together. Now, if it calls for like six eggs, you know, maybe space that out a little bit. <laughs> Blend it in. It's getting nice and mixy. One and a half teaspoons of vanilla, but I'm only gonna use the half teaspoon because I wanna use the whole one for my baking soda and I don't feel like getting out the other teaspoon thing. Measuring spoons, if you will. We got it on the counter. It literally stains the counter. Vanilla is a beast. All right, I would say that's pretty creamed. Now normally you want to combine all of your dry ingredients separately, but again, I don't care. I just want to get it done. Okay, so two and a half cups of water, I mean flour. Teaspoon of baking soda. Three quarter teaspoon of salt. And off we go. Start low so it doesn't splash up in your face. I actually would have done peanut butter cookies, except I don't know if any of these kids have allergies and I'm not trying to kill anybody. And we have cookie dough. Let's clean up real quick. I don't like, I don't like being a mess, like a mess. It, it just, it really bothers me. Actually, I'm gonna use a spoon. Before I throw it in the sink, we're gonna empty our blades off here. Shoot those. There you go. This goes in the fridge. Right. The vanilla is already starting to stain the counter. Vanilla is so dumb. <laughs> and to our cookie dough, we're just gonna add some chips. This one says seven ounces. That's probably about what's left in here. And this is dark chocolate. So we're gonna do a dark chocolate chip cookie. These chips are a little bit bigger than like your usual chip. I was gonna do milk chocolate because I have it, but I think I'm gonna cut this. I think I'm gonna put a little bit of like flaked salt on the top just to give it a little, a little something extra. Here she is. Let's scoop it. My oven's already at 350 and I'm gonna go ahead and scoop onto two silicone mat lined cookie trays. These cookies spread a little bit. The last time I made it, they didn't spread that much. So they stayed kind of like, you know, like the fatter kind of slightly smaller cookies, which I actually really like that size. I believe this is a two tablespoon scooper. It's broken. All of my scoopers are broken. Every single scooper I've ever owned breaks. They all suck. And I've yet to find one that like doesn't break. If you guys have any suggestions, I am so open. Cookie dough scoopers that don't suck. How large to girl, let me know. We're gonna make them huge. There's only like, I wanna say there's like 11 kids on the team, plus a teacher. So I don't, I don't mind literally sending them with 12 cookies. Like that's fine. We don't need to have any left at home. I don't normally manhandle my dough, but the scooper sucks. So I'm gonna do what I gotta do. You really don't want your cookies to spread. You can throw them in the fridge for a little bit. It kind of helps stop that process. But some cookies are just more prone to spreading. Depends on what you have in the, you know, depends on what's actually in the dough. They have one in here that they call it, I think the thin and crispy. It's, it's really good, but it is in fact very thin and crispy. But I know some people really like crispy cookies. So it's, it was, it was good. I think I made it for a Christmas party. I made it for something. I shared it and people seem to like it. All right, got eight on there. So the beauty of the silicone mats is that you don't have to butter them or anything. They're ready to go at all times. Oh no, I have to sneeze. I don't wanna have to stop. Oh, I have to stop. All right, I don't have enough left for another one. So we have 18 cookies. And it shouldn't take very long. Um, oh man, my rack is in the wrong spot. Whatever. I'm not fixing it, not today. That probably take like 10 minutes.
today. Missed a day of my uh, daily in the Word, the in the Bible app. I think I I know I told you guys about it. Um. Anyway, we're gonna make a quick protein shake. I'm gonna leave probably in like 45 minutes or so. And I've I was just I was eating pretty poorly. I would say like the last two to three days. I wasn't feeling good. Probably three to four days. Wasn't feeling good. I'm super bloated. I'm so bloated right now. Like. <clears throat> I don't know if you can really tell, but <laughs> I'm really bloated right now. Um, and because of the tummy tuck, I really only bloat on the top half. And it's just uncomfortable. I can't find my protein shake. Like, I literally brought it inside. I keep them in the, oh. I put it in the fridge. That was smart. Smart girl, fair life. It's amazing, like literally amazing. It doesn't quite all fit in here because I still need to add a banana, but. Oh man, all my ripe bananas are gone. All that's left is a black plantain over there. Ah, I got these yesterday. I wasn't intending to need to eat one for like a few days. That's why I got them green. But I guess now we just gotta girl boss this, as Nala likes to say, for literally every single thing she does in her life. You just gotta girl boss it, mom. I think she understands that it's like, you know, LOL at girl bossing, generally speaking. Kids these days. Kind of hard to keep up with all the crap. Uh, my ice machine is farting again. Some of you said you make sure to use distilled water in your ice machine and it doesn't do that. And kudos to you, baby, because I use distilled water and it still does it. <laughs> and so I just, I'm going to take that as I'm just a lucky gal. I'm just so lucky that my ice machine makes noise and what a joy that is. Let me blow this. Those 10 minutes that the uh, cookies were, uh, cooking hey does that have anything to do with why they're called cookies cookies cooking i don't know but uh i managed to clean the entire kitchen empty the dishwasher feed my sourdoughs and put everything away after drying it so 10 second tidy you know what i'm saying but 10 minute tidy because i'm an adult and 10 seconds not gonna do it okay i found a zyrtec in the car and i ate it because it's got to help, right? Like, I feel like there's a ball in the front of my face. This congestion is getting out of control. And I'm not sick or anything, right? Like, this has definitely got to be some kind of allergy-related thing. The only reason I question is because I, I went most of my life without ever having allergies, and it's still very fresh and new. But I uh, noticed that the Zyrtec had expired a year ago. And am I crazy? Or does that mean, right, with medicine, it goes one of two ways? It's either, like, completely, like basically ineffective or it's like hyper effective almost like you doubled the dose is that true or no also Zyrtec is disgusting and Jaden was taking these daily I think he takes Claritin you know I think he takes an off-brand one actually but he always takes the chewables it, 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 it tasted really nasty like I was in here being very dramatic and I all I could think was all these years and Jaden has never complained about how disgusting that thing tastes. That is so foul. <laughs> like, ew. Fun fact, I poured this all down my shirt this morning. That felt like I was in, like, I showed up to a party I wasn't invited to. Because everyone else kind of seemed to have known each other. They all, mostly, had a very similar look as far as, like, their age and their general sort of like shape and I was like what did I just step into <laughs> so um and then the instructor came up to me she's like I don't think I've ever seen you before and I was like you haven't um because I haven't seen you actually I kind of think I have seen her but I don't think I took her to class I think I just saw her like in between class changes but yeah that was hard she was doing some stuff that no one else does and that's probably my favorite thing is that I have oh my gosh the tulips I have never gone to the same class twice. Like that has never happened. You are never repeating the exact same class. Those instructors come in like today, uh, we're gonna do this kooky thing. And I'm like, all right, cool. Like I never know what to expect, which is for the best. <laughs> because if I knew what to expect, sometimes I'd be like, mm, I don't know if I wanna go. I don't know if I wanna go today. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm not sure if today's the one for me because ouch, mm, ouch. Do I need a lime green jacket so that I can also bicycle? How's that? You know what I saw the other day? Can I just tell you this is absolute 
crazy. And all I could imagine was the household discussions that were happening surrounding this event. I was driving down the street. In fact, that street that I was just on, I was driving down that street. And this woman had a double stroller, the kind that's side by side. So it's like, you know, like two and a half feet, whatever wide. And she had this double stroller and she was running in the center of the two lanes of traffic. There was not a median. There were only a bunch of turn lanes. So every, I'm gonna say like every eighth of a mile, a turning lane would pop up so that you could turn into the subdivision that she was running by, which I'm gonna assume she lived there. Um, Ma'am, she was in the middle of the street. The freaking speed limit on that street is 45. The speed limit's 45, so you know people are going 55, okay? like what ma'am what and then as i passed by her i could see in the rear view i could see into her you know little stroller the kid wasn't even strapped in the kid was not strapped in there was only one kid so i'm not sure why she had the double but there was only one kid inside of it and that girl she was probably like two ish right so you know two-year-olds they're crazy okay they will run around on you that kid was not even strapped in. She was all like cockeyed and halfway in it. And I was like, ma'am, I get that you need to get your workout in, but at what, at, at, at what are we willing to risk for the workout? And I can't even say, oh, she was just crossing the street because Miss Thing was running straight down the street. And the real kicker, okay, beside the kid not being strapped in, there are sidewalks on both sides. There are literally the entire length of the street, sidewalk on both sides. I know it's annoying to run on a sidewalk. I know it's annoying to jog with a stroller on a sidewalk. I know that because it's like, getting, 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 getting. Okay, but at least it's getting, getting, getting on your stroller and not on your child's freaking head. So all I could imagine was the conversation between like her and her spouse, assuming she has one. Oh, I'm gonna go on a jog. All right, cool. You're gonna put the baby in the middle, in the middle of the street. Hope. I, Hope y'all don't get hit. I love ya. What? Mayhem. Chaos. Absolute chaos. Crazy. If that's your friend, tell her to at least get some helmets. Because some knee pads. Something, baby. Something. Try to convince the kids to go to Noodles and Company, but they want to go to Sanctuary by Minor Threat Restaurant Group. Sovereign. Or whatever. We literally have 40 minutes, so we're hoping for the best here. What's up, Bastiana? Straight to the menu. We have somewhere to go. So you can talk, but not until after that's you know what you're gonna have. Wow. That's just me being aggressive. I didn't realize I was filming, but like that's mom life. Okay? Sometimes you gotta make these kids do what they need to do. Because they begin here. Apparently the credit card system's down, so we're limited to how much cash I have. There's also no ATM. Yeah, I'm not using no ATM. I'm not a I'm not a quitter. Okay? We're gonna, if we'll die in the dash if need be. Pretend you didn't hear that. JK, JK, JK. JK, JK. JK. And then that's his just essence. Got a little iced tea. And the mason jar, though? We are obviously, like I said, stopped for lunch, which it's already 1222. We have 38 minutes before we need to be at the dentist's office. We're just counting up Nala's orders, though. She has like about half as many orders this week. Yeah. However, it's still imagine like 60 I, or so bracelets. Imagine if I had the same amount of orders as last week. I know, it like, oh, it's in the back seat. We need to run by the post office. Yeah. Do not let me drive to our, to anywhere without going there. Look at his face. He looks like, he looks like the evil villain from, his hair makes him look like the evil villain from uh, the Captain on the dance. <laughs> you know who I'm talking about? We're trying to plan out what day we're she'll be able to do it. She does have a softball game tonight. I mean, I know I it's supposed to rain, like but it literally hasn't rained at all. And you guys right now is when all of the really pretty trees outside are like hot pink. You know that time of year where they, like all the pink trees are like just the pinkest trees you've ever seen. You're like, there's literally one right there and right there. I have to show you when I go outside. This is my favorite time of year. It means like the winter is truly over and it's not my favorite time of year. Fall is my favorite, but like the winter is over and there are good days ahead. It's burning skin and cut grass and just, uh, my taxes are paid. Ooh, taxes. This is my favorite day of the year, the day after tax day. It's is it today so the day after tax day? Yes, it is. 
So you don't have taxes anymore? No, I mean I still have them. When do you get taxes again? A bunch of people keep asking about Nala paying taxes. I'm like, y'all, the money comes to me. I'm the one paying the taxes. I'm not forcing Nala to actually treat this like <laughs> it's 100% legit business. You know what I mean? She's still a kid. I'm still her mom. I'm still going to take care of what needs to be taken care of. I don't know how taxes will. Yeah, so but I, I have a business. Nala has a job. Jaden has a job. I've told you guys before. We already have, we're very legitimate over here. Y'all yeah. don't gotta worry about taxes. taxes. I mean, right now. Eventually, Maybe. eventually feel free, feel free to worry. Oh, also, I parallel parked perfectly by myself. Didn't now, even hit the button. Now she doesn't have that in common with Olivia Rodrigo. Because Olivia Rodrigo can't parallel park. Yeah. How sad. I want to be just like her. She's just the cutest. I know. She um, really well, cutest. you're. I got the death chicken. Look fire. Okay, that was it from us today. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks again to Walmart for sponsoring it. I have links to everything down below. And I'll uh, see you in the next one. Bye-bye.